a bystander saw this police officer lying down on the street with his horse, and the story behind the picture is tragic. Usually, when you think of two police officers being partners, they are both human. But Officer D. Herijon was fortunate enough to have a beautiful partner called Charlotte to help him with his daily duties. And the most amazing thing about her, she was a six-year-old horse who everybody simply loved. When Officer Herijon first met Charlotte, it was love at first sight. The cop couldn't believe his luck at being able to patrol his streets on such a beautiful and majestic mare. The two would do everything together, from catching bad guys to saying hello to the local children who always loved to give the gentle giant a fuss on her nose. Charlotte began her job at the Houston Police Department as a two-year-old Tennessee walker from Oklahoma. Despite being quite young when she started her job, Charlotte seemed to be a natural and passed all of her tests with flying colors. In a Facebook post that was written by the HPD, they said that she thrived in HPD mounted patrols, barefoot and natural horsemanship programs. She passed her evaluation period with flying colors and was working the streets of downtown Houston within a short time of being started under saddle. Despite being new on the beat, Charlotte couldn't have been happier, and neither could Officer Herijon. She loved her job and was always ready to go to work, putting bad guys in jail or giving nuzzles to children. They continued in their post. For four years, the horse and officer duo worked together and got up to all sorts of trouble together, such as dropping into the office to say hello to their fellow officers and playing around whenever they had the time. Officer Herajon would also sometimes spoil Charlotte by giving her treats such as apples and other foods which the horse loved. Sadly though, in 2015, this all came to an end. It was the 3rd of December 2015 and Officer Herajon and Charlotte had been assigned their standard duty of patrolling the streets to make sure that the public were okay and to help where they were needed. It had started off like any normal patrol with both officers meandering along the sidewalk and saying hello to the people that they knew. But then, things took a turn for the worse. As Charlotte and Officer Herajon made their way along a busy road, the then six-year-old horse started to get spooked. She didn't like the noise of the cars, nor the speed at which they were traveling. The four-legged animal started to nervously move around. Officer Herajon tried to calm her down and get her back under control, but unfortunately, the horse was too scared to listen. She ended up bucking Herajon from the saddle and moved out into the line of traffic. In an incredibly unfortunate series of events, Charlotte moved into the way of an oncoming cement truck. Despite the horse's large size, she wasn't big enough to stop the truck from hitting her. Charlotte was down within seconds. Herajon, who had witnessed the whole incident, quickly ran over to the horse's side to see if she was okay, but she had sadly been injured. Despite the minor injuries that the officer received from being bucked, Herajon refused to move from his partner's side. He lay down next to her and cradled her head in his arms as he whispered soothing words to calm the horse down. He called for someone to quickly call a vet as he wanted to know how serious the damage to Charlotte was. Once the vet arrived, they quickly assessed the horse's condition. The entire time that the vet worked, Herajon stayed with Charlotte and gave her as much comfort as he could. Unfortunately, the vet didn't have good news. It turned out that the collision had injured Charlotte's back leg severely, meaning she would never be able to walk again. The only choice was to put the horse out of her tragic situation by humanely euthanizing her there and then as she couldn't make it back to the stable in her condition. With a shattered heart, Herajon agreed that it was the best thing to do. Once Charlotte had been put out of her pain, Officer Herajon was then taken to hospital as a precautionary measure to make sure that he hadn't sustained any serious injuries as well. Thankfully, he had only a few scratches and bruises from being chucked from Charlotte's saddle. In the days following the horse's death, the HPD released a post on Facebook saying, It is with heavy hearts that we announce the death of Charlotte, an HPD mounted patrol horse who died in the line of duty this morning in a motor vehicle accident. She served the citizens of Houston for four years. She will be missed. After the incident, a formal investigation was carried out to determine what happened what went wrong, and how it could be avoided in the future. The driver who accidentally struck Charlotte was determined not to be at fault though, as he had no idea that the horse was going to act in such a way. In 2020, a horse called Peroni was injured whilst trying to control an agitated crowd. The incident happened near Gray's Monument in Newcastle in the United Kingdom. A number of horses and officers had been called out to try and oversee a Black Lives Matter protest that was happening in the city. The event started off peacefully as hundreds of people gathered in support of the global Black Lives Matter movement which had seen protests happening worldwide after the killing of George Floyd in America. But the BLM protesters weren't the only ones out that day. Another group of protesters who called themselves the Defenders of Newcastle also showed up in a sort of counter-protest against the BLM. As tensions rose high, things started to take a turn and disorder and chaos began to break out amongst the protesters. Members from the DON started to throw objects such as glass bottles and flares at the police. 
Amongst those trying to restore order were riot police, a football policing team, police horses, and police dogs. Unfortunately, it was at this point that Peroni and two other police horses were injured, along with several police officers and two police dogs. Peroni ended up with an injured hoof, suspected to have occurred due to a glass bottle either being thrown at him or being under the feet of the horse, which he then stepped on. Talking about the event, Northumbria Police's Assistant Chief Constable Scott Hall condemned the violence. He said, ensuring the safety of the public is our utmost priority and we provided a proportionate policing response to planned protests in Newcastle. Black Lives Matter protesters came together in the city centre with a counter-protest held at Gray's Monument. The protest activity had in the main passed without incident, with the exception of a small number of objects being thrown between the protesters. However, as the demonstrations were drawn to a close, members of the counter-protest again started throwing objects, with the police targeted. Such behavior is completely unacceptable and will not be tolerated on our streets. An investigation is now underway and anyone found responsible will be brought to justice. Thankfully, the two police dogs didn't need medical attention and were quickly back on duty after the events of that day. The horses also got away with very minimal injuries and Peroni, Patronus and Parker were simply put on bed rest for a few days to recover. The mounted section tweeted pictures of Peroni and his stable mates, Pluto, Parker, Patronus and Lady Penelope safely tucked up in their stables shortly after the protests. And while Peroni could be seen wearing a pink bandage on one of his legs, he was said to be doing fine. Northumbria Police's mounted section said on Twitter, Just wanted to let you all know that Pluto, Parker, Patronus and Lady Penelope are all fine after a very busy day in Newcastle city centre dealing with various protests taking place. Peroni, as you can see, is quite happily tucking into his supper. He has a minor injury that will be fine and will be enjoying a few days off. Since then, Peroni has gone back on duty and the person responsible for his injuries was found and tried for injuring an officer of the law. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring stories.